Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Aditya Gupta. I'm currently pursuing my DM in Pediatric Oncology from Ames, New Delhi. Having secured All India Rank 10 in Ames UG, Ames PG, All India Rank 17 and All India Rank 2 in Ames DM Entrance Examination. Now in this video, I'll be talking about how do you revise first. Basically, every entrance examination is a subject of how much you remember and at the same point of time and how much you remember will be dependent upon how how many revisions you have done how, how many times how 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 uh how much you have been able to inculcate inside your body and uh, uh, in, in the end have been able to vomit it out on the day of exam now for this particular part i'll divide the subjects into three parts subjects either subjects or topics you can consider them as topics as well and this is valid let me be clear this is valid both for neat ug and pc and for that matter dm as well you can divide your subjects into or topics into your uh, topics or subjects which are excellently prepared. So if I say, let's assume I take uh, UG for an example, you have, uh, you, you think your human physiology is excellent. Or if I take PG for example, you think your physiology as a subject is excellent. There are certain subjects or there will be certain topics which will be average. You don't know whether you're good or bad. Sometimes you perform well, sometimes you don't perform well. And there will be certain uh, subjects will be subjects and topics you will be bad at. Like, you know, Mujhe nahi aata, meko samaj nahi aata. I'm not able to understand anything about this. So what is an ideal way? The ideal way is basically we revise the notes which we have made or revise the book which we have done. We practice MCQs and then we move on to the next uh, practice MCQs, learn from our mistakes and then we move on to the next one. This thing takes certain amount of time and sometimes you're lacking in time. You're thinking you're not able to revise the entire syllabus. You're not able to finish the entire syllabus. In this scenario, the way to go about this, it's called the retrograde way. Instead of reading something first and then attempting MCQs, you can make it ulta, you can make it retrograde. You do the MCQs first and then read the topic. Now, this is valid. Let me be very clear about this. I have done this multiple times for my own preparation, both in UG and post-graduation. This is valid. Let me be tell you only for either poor subject or excellent subject, not for average subjects. Average subjects either will become excellent if you do them regularly and thoroughly. The reason it's valid for excellent subject and poor subjects, I'll tell you how. So let's take, let me take uh, example of, first take example of post-graduation. For example, I was excellent in biochemistry. I had secured a gold, I had, I had a gold medal in biochemistry. Now I knew that a lot, my basal knowledge, my basic knowledge of biochemistry is already very strong. So all I need to do is just practice MCQs, see the explanation of those MCQs and move on. I know that biochemistry is already done. So I don't need to revise the entire notes of biochemistry in order to be like, oh, now I know biochemistry. In this way, excellent subjects can be done just by solving MCQs. Similarly, let's assume, like, let, let me take an example of a UG topic. For example, someone says that I'm excellent in modern physics. You don't need to need the theory of modern physics. You just need to solve the MCQs of modern physics and move on. Nothing else do, do you need to do. For example, in biology, let's assume you say you are excellent in, let's say, ecology. Just solve the MCQs, see the explanation of the MCQs and move on. The second thing it is valid for is the poor subjects. The reason it's valid for poor subjects is, now I'll be taking a very specific example of my NEET UG examination, my AIPMT. See, if you just do the previous two, three years MCQs, or at least five years MCQs, I'll say, what will happen is the chances of repeats are high. At least 30 to 50% of the paper in any, any examination is repeat in either a direct way or an indirect way. So if you have done just the same previous year MCQs, you'll ensure you won't mark those wrongs at the same point of time reading the explanation of those MCQs after having solving them will make you realize, oh, this is my weak part. Let me just focus on this and just focus on that. So you won't be able to make when you just have two or three months left for your examination, you won't be able to make a poor subject an excellent subject or a poor topic an excellent topic. But you have to ensure that you get a basal level of marks. You don't get a thing or you don't get a zero. You ensure the passing for 50 to 70 percent. See, the exam is qualified when you get 80 percent marks. Uh, in excellent subjects, you will be getting 90-95%. In average, you will be getting 70-80%. So in order to balance it out and get to the average of 70-75 to 80%, you have to make sure in the bad topics, you don't get below 50 or 60%. So that is ensured by pre solving previous year MCQs. Since they will ensure that at least 30 to 50% of the syllabus is all going to be previous year MCQs. And if you solve this, those previous year MCQs, revise only that related theory, you will, be ensure, you will be ensuring that your subject at least won't go beyond a particular line taking example of my neat ug uh for i told you that i was horrible in waves i did not do it in 11th standard and not even do it in 12th standard i just saw previous mcqs and that's why i realized that particular question that you know the two people moving to, uh, towards each other and the doppler effect i had practiced only that mcq uh, multiple number of times and that came in the examination right similarly as far as pg is concerned i was not really good at anesthesia 
not really good at anesthesia so i just i used the q bank of uh, any q bank for that matter uh use the q bank of uh, uh, anesthesia just solve previous year question and got done with it that's it itna hi padhna hai isse zyada nahi padhna and out of the four three four questions that were asked in anesthesia not many questions i was able to to solve two because two one was repeat and one was from the concepts of repeats still out of the three i got two 66% if i would have done it thoroughly i would have gotten three or out of three so this is how you solve it so uh, in order to revise fast use this retrograde method of revision especially for your excellent by excellent i mean when which you are like yaar isme to har baar i will get more than 95% so let's assume in case of pg i was like i was very confident in biochemistry you could be very confident in physiology in ug you can be very confident in you know molecular basis of inheritance just solve the mcqs and move on and and the subjects which are bad by making sure that you solve the mcqs and read that theory you will ensure you no, do not get below 50 to 60% in those mcqs hopefully this things have made it uh, hopefully this has made it clear uh, and it will help in further revisions of your topic so thank you and have a nice day